Hello, everyone, and welcome to VM Blog's coverage of the KubeCon Cloud Native Con event taking place in Chicago this year. And today we're joined by Tucker Calloway, the CEO of Mesmo. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited for the show and excited to be on. We're excited to have you. And in fact, this is, I think, the first time we've had the pleasure of speaking with you. So maybe uh, to start things off, if you could just give us a quick overview of the company. Yeah, so so Mesmo, um, we help enterprises un understand and optimize their telemetry data. And for us, that really starts with um, kind of just driving the initial understanding, optimizing that data, and then responding to the changes and events that happen in that data, ensuring that we get all the data from like a Kubernetes environment to all the different sources and destinations that might want to consume that data. And how would you say that you fit into the Kubernetes cloud native uh, ecosystem? Yeah, so a couple, a couple, one, we're a big consumer or a big user of Kubernetes. All our systems are based on Kubernetes behind the scenes. Um, so we've got a lot of good practical experience, but um, we're a really big fan of what's happening in the open telemetry space. Um, and, then, and then obviously in conjunction with Kubernetes. And so we're really a company that's focused on, on data. So there's a tendency to want to think about people in this kind of growing, evolving telemetry pipeline space is either an observability type solution or a cybersecurity type solution. And we really see ourselves as a data solution. And so where we fit in is grabbing all the data from Kubernetes via hotel, from all the different other sources and getting it and transferring it, manipulating it, normalizing it, doing all the giving insights into that data and getting it to the right destinations and the right places where the various practitioners will consume the data. Now, for attendees of uh, of this event and folks mm -hmm. who are watching this video, can you maybe talk a little bit about the types of problems uh, that Mesmo is solving for them, uh, and and maybe put some of that into the context of uh, specific use cases that you guys solve? Yeah, I mean, what, so one of the things that really drives us is there's this there's a dynamic in the market where, with the adoption of all the cloud native. Uh, capabilities and everyone being cloud first. It's a huge explosion of microservices and things anyone at the show has, has heard many times before, but that's driving a, a massive increase in the amount of data that's being generated by those services. And um, that that the increase in data causes a number of different problems. One is there's, a, there's just a raw cost problem. And then there's another problem of how do you get value out of that data? Like how do you understand and get value out of that data? And so the very first place we start is by helping people profile and understand their data. And once you have a profile in it and you understand it, you then have an opportunity to optimize it. And optimizing can be reducing that data. Um, it could be normalizing that data to get to the right format for the downstream consumers of the data. Um, it could also be generating insights, unique insights out of that data as well. And so those are the types of use cases that we're looking for. And so we focus a lot on both getting data to the right locations for cybersecurity use cases, um, getting data to the right locations for observability use cases, but not just dumping all of the data in those downstream systems to be consumed and sorted through later, but like let's get it in the right shape in the right format in the right location and coordinating all of that. But for us, it really starts with understanding because many of the operators today, this is a kind of a new paradigm where you're where you need to understand your data. And we have not traditionally done that as part of the industry to really deeply understand this data generated by machines. And so we think the real opportunity is to help people understand that data. And then of course, go through all the subsequent steps that I described. Now, you've already kind of touched on, you know, what your technology does, but maybe mm -hmm. if you can kind of go a little bit step further into the technology offering and also, there's a lot of vendors that are going to be at the show, uh, all, mm -hmm. you know, in competing markets. Um, what would you say makes Mesmo stand out from the rest? Yeah, I think it's, um, those are two questions there. I think what makes us stand out to start with is this focus on understanding. Um, we, we've actually been operators in the space. So we were previously log DNA. And so effectively, I ran a log management business for, for two or three years, and we struggled alongside our customers to help them provide cheaper ways to get more value out of the data. And what we understood was how little they understood 
about their data. And so again, that, that like that really laser focus on understanding is born out of our own experiences, working really closely with our customers from a technology standpoint, there's probably two main, main components to it. Um, one or maybe three I'll, I'll cover. The, the first is our edge capability, which allows you to deploy a pipeline in your environment. And so you can do all the things you need to do within your environment. We control that centrally from our SaaS offering. And so our SaaS offering hosts our ability to both optimize as well as to have responsive pipelines. And what I mean by responsive pipelines is the ability to detect change in the data. So when you detect change, you know that you can get alerted and respond to that change. Or it might be an external change that drives like the context by which you care about the data. So for example, you may want to not collect a lot of data until there's a security event or until there's an incident where performance is degrading. At that point in time, you want to start to collect all the data because that data that wasn't important is now extremely important. So our pipeline actually can adapt to those external changes, take triggers and send triggers. And when it does that, it changes, it, we call it a responsive pipeline, but it changes the dynamics of its behavior to meet the current either threat or performance environment. Taking a lot of taking a lot of capabilities out or like decisions out of the hands of the SREs where appropriate, more configured, but like making it so they don't have to worry about those dynamics and they can focus on the things that they do, which is keeping the systems up and running and safe. Now, a lot of uh, the sponsors of uh, this event in particular, they usually leverage, you know, KubeCon, Cloud NativeCon to uh, showcase uh, something brand new without giving away any trade secrets. Uh, you know, are you announcing anything new at KubeCon this year that you can talk about? And if not, yeah. are, are there any uh, announcements that you've made recently that you guys are going to be showcasing at your booth this year? Yeah, I'd, I well, most of Mesmo as it is today, you know, again, we like I said, we were a log management company for a long time, but most of every, pretty much everything you'll see from us today is uh, you'll see at the conference is effectively new. We, we launched our very first MVP, like our first accessible basic pipeline at KubeCon last year. Um, and that was that was not like not for public consumption. And then we, we actually made it publicly available in uh, in june so we're about four or five months into the journey but we're going to be um releasing a ton of things so i talked about data profiling which is the underpinning um, driver for the data understanding we're releasing our edge capability which allows people to uh, customers to deploy this capability in their environment we're also launching our responsive pipelines as well as a number of other features like recipes and pipelines as code and the list goes on but we've got quite a bit we've been working on over the last three or four months that will be coming together at KubeCon, so it's a great opportunity actually to come by our booth, see a demo, and and uh, see how all these capabilities and all our lessons over the last five to seven years have come together. That was pretty exciting. Um, one of the things that uh, drives excitement at these shows is the uh, the keynote where you can hear from thought leaders talking about the big picture and the futures. Um, what are some of the trends that your company is interested in moving into 2024? Yeah, I mean, so they're, they're you know, pretty selfishly motivated, but we think that there's going to be this increasing um, growth in telemetry data. So so we're, we're uh, excited to see how that unfolds. But, but I believe there'll be new ways of handling that data, new ways of managing that data. We've seen like a massive uptick in coverage of this space where we see... Um, um, enterprises will start to take ownership of their telemetry data really for the first time at, at scale in 2024. So we're excited about that. We think there's going to be a lot to think about in 2024 about the, the general threat environment around cybersecurity. And I'll be really fascinated to see how some of the AI, LLM hype, how telemetry data starts to participate in that in a more meaningful way. It's one of the things that we've been thinking a lot about and having conversations with customers, which is how do you how do you train and condition data to go drive those models, specifically that those that type of data that's being generated by machines. So we think there's gonna be some interesting opportunities there. It's not not entirely clear yet, but I do see some interesting trends there. You talked about uh, a lot of the really cool new things that you guys are working on and have been building and that you're gonna be showcasing at the show. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some great demos at your booth uh, for any attendees to come by and see. 
but is there something maybe that that we can see on this video in case uh, folks aren't able to attend the show? Is there something maybe that yeah. we can demo? Yeah, let me give you a quick little sneak peek of uh, what we, what you can see at our booth. Um, we'll, we'll highlight a couple of the, the main areas here. And uh, we, we think about the world in three categories. We think about understanding, we think about optimizing, and we think about responding. So let's, uh, let me give you a quick overview of those three quick categories. And, and please, you know, come by the booth to see more. Hi, my name is Chelsea Wright, and I'm on the customer success team here at Mesmo. Today, I'll be showing you how Mesmo Telemetry Pipeline can help you take control of your Kubernetes data. We'll organize today's workflow into three steps. First, we'll profile the data for understanding so that you can determine useful versus low value data. We'll then optimize the data to reduce costs and improve insights. Finally, we'll show how Mesmo pipelines can be used in incident response processes. We'll be using mission critical apps deployed in our Kubernetes cluster as a source of telemetry data for this demo, which are running as containers. Our Mesmo agent is deployed as a daemon set across the nodes within this Kubernetes cluster, which sends telemetry data to our pipelines deployed in our SaaS environment or Mesmo Edge if you prefer an on-prem solution. Let's jump into the demo. This workflow starts with understanding our data in order to then optimize and respond properly. We'll then have the option to optimize the data coming from the source using Mesmo's data profiler. This option will profile and identify patterns within our telemetry data in order to understand which transformations would be best to apply to optimize these events. When we tabulate the resulting pipeline events, we can see that the majority of the logs we're collecting are coming from the sources BZP logs, Kong proxy, and core DNS three mission-critical apps managed by our SRE team. We can also see the patterns the data profiler has identified within the messages of these logs. We will use the understanding of these patterns to optimize the data. We'll be focusing on the Kong proxy source here. This source is producing 180 gigabytes or 147 million logs with the same message, which shows the status of our load balancer as being enabled. We also see similar patterns coming from our core DNS and BZP logs. Many of the logs are very similar, and we don't need to retain all of them. Now that we have an understanding of the data, we can take the next best steps to better control it. The messages from our Kong proxy app are important, but the redundancy is unhelpful. In fact, it's driving up observability costs unnecessarily. Optimization helps us to significantly reduce costs but it also helps improve response times, as you'll see. So let's configure optimization within our pipeline. Mesmo will recommend recipes based on our data, as you see here. Pre-configured recipes give you an out-of-the-box experience based on the results from the data profiler. As we see here, Mesmo has recommended recipes in response to patterns it identified in the events it analyzed, such as a redundancy reduction recipe and Kubernetes infer workflow recipe. The pipelines produced by these recipes would then have pre-configured processors already set up to handle these use cases, meaning with a few simple modifications, you'll have a fully functional pipeline up and ready to use. So let's take a look at a pipeline in action. Let's focus on optimizing the redundant message that we identified coming from our Kong proxy app. In this case, we're using our SaaS interface. However, pipeline can also be deployed in your local environment using Mesmo Edge, so no data leaves your network. We'll start off by setting up our route processor, which is going to use fields and events collected by our Mesmo agent, along with conditional logic to properly send data downstream. This data will reach our second route processor, which is going to look for that balancer enabled message, again, using conditional logic in fields from our events. We'll send this content over to our events to metrics processor, which is going to transform all these events into counter metrics whose frequency we'll keep track of. We can also configure exactly what we want these metrics to look like by specifying which fields we'd like the metrics to include, either from the original event or a new value. Lastly, we'll aggregate these metrics every minute instead of sending them all to our downstream destination, which in this case is Mesmo log analysis. 
we can see exactly how these events are manipulated as they move through every processor by hitting tap egress. The original event is quite verbose and not easy to manage. However, after the event goes through our events to metrics processor, the metric is condensed and easy to send downstream. By condensing and aggregating these events, we also significantly reduce the data load and costs associated with hosting them on our observability platform. This is reflected in our usage dashboard, which shows that although we are ingressing almost 20 gigabytes of data, we're only egressing about half of it, slashing costs significantly. We can also send this data to any tool or team of our choosing. This increases collaboration and maintains service performance. Now that we understand our telemetry data and we've optimized the data by selecting recipes and configuring our pipelines, we need to consider what will happen if we have an incident that requires immediate response. For that, Mesmo has introduced responsive pipelines. Let's take a look at how responsive pipelines work. Currently, our pipeline's in a normal state. For the purposes of this demo, we'll be using an API platform to trigger our pipeline to enter into an incident state. You can also initiate state change as part of your automated incident response workflow. Within our API platform, what we're going to do is set up a request which includes pipeline ID, state. Back in the pipeline, we see that our state has changed to incident. We also see that any processor that condensed metrics or events is currently disabled. This can be shown in the gray state of these processors. In your own responsive pipeline, you'll be given the option to configure how processors react to the state change as well. This change allows us to get the highest fidelity data we can to quickly problem solve and figure out what's going on within our environment during an incident. After the incident is resolved, you can either manually configure the pipeline to go back to a normal state, or you can do it with an API request as part of an incident response workflow when an incident is closed. In summary, what I've shared today shows some crucial steps that SREs can take to take control of Kubernetes telemetry data. The first step is understanding the telemetry data. Having a telemetry data profile is critical to making the right decisions. Recommended pipeline recipes help you optimize the data based on your data profile. This will help us to aggregate, summarize, and transform logs to metrics for the right data. This significantly reduces costs. Finally, when an incident occurs or when your telemetry data changes, your pipelines need to respond quickly and automatically, which is where responsive pipelines come in handy. If you'd be interested in learning more about pipeline, please reach out to support at mesmo.com. We look forward to working with you to understand, optimize, and respond to your telemetry data. Well, thanks a lot for giving us a better understanding of what Mesmo does. Um, for people that can't attend uh, KubeCon, what's a good place where they can go to find out more information about your company? Yeah, come to come to Mesmo.com. We'll, we have, I think we have, or we will have by the time you see this video at least, an offering on our website to um, look at our, either look at a trial of our product see a demo of it or um, or actually we'll do a we'll do a data profile for you we can send us your data and we will give you uh, a better understanding of of your data and how you might try to optimize that data at no cost so really looking forward to engaging with more people on that so please please come take us up on the offer or come by the booth if, you, if you're at the show okay well thanks for taking the time to speak with vm blog and we look forward to seeing you at kubecon thanks for having me